with these other people I met. Your name, sir? My name's Izzy Chance. Okay, Izzy Chance. Uh, my name's Tom Reed, and I, I take these videos and I upload them to YouTube. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Lemdeer, Montana. Okay. And where do you live now? I live here, right here in Billings, Montana on the streets. Okay. And uh, what's the last traditional employment you had? Uh, I used to be a manager, assistant manager at Lazy KT. Okay, and uh, what happened there? You just got tired of it? No, I went for a drive one day. I took a half hour break and they ended up bringing me up to West End, all the way from the north side. And they were supposed to take me back. And we ended up staying up here for a couple hours and they dropped me off at Vegas Inn, so I had to walk all the way back to my work. And when I got there, I got fired. Oh, okay. Well, sorry about that. Have you looked for other employment or things a little tough oh, yeah. right now? Okay. Yes, I did. Uh, any substance abuse problems? Mm. Alcohol. Okay. And how long has that been going on? Since I was like 14. Okay. Now I'm 30 now. Okay. Now, I've talked to other people. What's the association with alcohol? How would you get going on that at such a young age? Well, I thought it was cool. I was trying to fit in with my friends, like fit in with other people because I thought it was cool. But it, it fucking grew on me. It, I'm sorry for the language. That's okay. It grew on me. Okay. And I realized how much it doesn't. It, it, it just destroys your life. Okay. So you would, you still have a drinking problem now? Yes. And it's a problem because it keeps you from working, you don't feel good, you know it's not good for your health. Why? Oh, it don't keep me from working. I can work. But it's just that I have tendencies to think about different things when I'm off working and like end up messing up. Okay. Do you think it may be linked to depression? Exactly. Okay. That's what it is. Have you tried getting help with this before? No. Is it, is it just because you don't know where to go or you don't have resources or you feel resources. hopeless? I don't know. I don't have identification. I don't even know where to go. Okay. And like most of the places help with like with people 24 and under. And, okay. And I'm 30 years old. Okay. So you don't have identification because you've gotten driving problems with because of alcohol and that's why Oh no, under. man. I lost. I, I had identification, but then I lost it when I got in the car. And gotcha. My, my whole wallet fell out. And, all everything was gone okay now have you lived in the re on a reservation in the past yes okay I grew up on a res oh, so you grew up there as well your whole life until here yep. right yep. and how would you summarize that experience there huh how, how would you summarize that experience bad good sucks bad why because everything on a res is Everything's violent down there. It is. But it ain't no different than being up here. Okay, gotcha. But then the only difference is that I got more job opportunities up here. Okay. Now I want to on a res, there's no job opportunities. Oh, gotcha. Now I want to ask you straight out. You seem like a guy no bullshit. You just get right to the bottom line. What's your take on the whole thing with Native Americans and reservations and how they ended up there? It's, I think it's a a form of uh, keeping people in check, not good, not helping anybody. What, what's your take on this? Because, you know, as a white guy not growing up in a reservation, you know, we get force-fed our information through history, well, really which is, is a lot of lies. Well, really, it's just that everybody from the res, or like any reservation, they all fight each other. But then, Vejo is a white person. They, they stick together. Mutkaveha is black. They stick together. And it's just as natives, they just they like to fight each other all the time. And it just ruins it. It gives us a bad name. Yeah. Like, I don't know what's, like, what the problem is, but they, they like to fight each other. I don't know. And that's the way it is. And you'd say that's probably a problem in any reservation. That, that, is, the, that is the problem with every, every, reservation here in okay. Montana anyway okay so you probably you probably cross paths with law enforcement yes yeah. a lot of times okay 
And how would you say the police work is on the reservation? Are they fair? Oh, man. Oh, no, they're not fair. They'll take you out to the hills and beat you. Oh, they will? Okay. Drunk females, they go out there and fucking rape them. Yeah, they will. Now, are these... These are sovereign nation law enforcement officers, right? They work on the reservation only. And they treat you that way. Yep. And if they, they get caught, they get turned in, they yep. get charged, and, and they, get they they just get sent to a different police police this our precinct. Okay. Favorite childhood memory. My favorite childhood memory. Let me see. We were jumping on a trampoline. Me, my older sister Sherry, my brother Benji. Mm -hmm. We're all jumping on a trampoline and they're big, they're huge. And that trampoline split in half. Oh wow. <laughs> like it thought of the bar split like literally in half. Uh -huh. <laughs> we all fell to the ground. <laughs> all right. How about your favorite movie? My favorite movie? My uh, my favorite movie is Public Enemies. Favorite book? My favorite book. I don't have a favorite book. Favorite song? Favorite song? <laughs> it's by Tala Yahweh. It's called... <laughs> it's called Tom Lee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, you got any questions for me? Mm, no. <laughs> None? Really. I do. All right. Well, I appreciate this interview. Thank you. Yep. Oh, I know what. You wrote down your email, but uh, do you want to give it to people on here then communicate with you? Yes. Yeah, sure. a, a lot of good looking women out there uh, looking for guys. <laughs> I'm not guys worried out. about that. What, hey, yo, but, what yeah. is it? No, no, I'm what? not worried about that. Okay. What's your email? Is no, you don't need dot it. chance 0151 or 0515 at gmail.com. Spell it all out from the beginning. I Z Z Y lowercase dot C H A N C E. Okay. Zero five one five at gmail dot com. All right, well, thank you. There's something you can videotape. Well, thank you for the interview. Cops are going you demand.